Welcome back to TD Place. Again, 3 0 for Kingston after one. But I want to just detract from hockey for a second and talk about sports in this city in general. Standing beside me, four time Olympian Sue Holloway. She's also a Canada Sport Hall of Famer just recently, actually. And she is co chairing along with Cyril Leader, a very familiar name in this community, to bring the Canada 2021 Games here to Ottawa. And we're all very excited to have you here. Thank you so much for doing this interview. Can you just start off by telling me where this all started and why? you want to bring the 2021 games here to Ottawa? Well, it was a change of plan for the Canada Games Council. They had planned to go to, I believe, Newfoundland, but they were not able to host at this time, so they threw it over to Ontario, so we had a very shortened bid period, but Ontario then was given the task, and Ottawa was ready to step up, and we did that in a very short order and assembled an awesome team to uh, present to the Canada Games and to really build our bid. So we've been doing, we did that, and then on Thursday, uh, just passed, we presented our final, pre did our final presentation to the review committee. So. Well, what are some of the things that you had to show this review committee? I know you and I were talking before off camera about there's a technical uh, committee and then there's a bidding committee. Can you tell me some of the differences and what you had to go through to present this city? Yeah, the process is very well defined and it's also very well crafted to be transparent. So everybody has to deliver on the same items and it's really it's quite an onerous process to be to be honest there's so much that you have to present but it's so that they are confident you can do it and of course we totally have the capacity so um, they're looking for for that capacity in many respects from a venue perspective so we had a visit a few months back from the technical P review committee to say okay can we do this do we have the facilities so our bid is very low risk because we're not going to build any new infrastructure so no new buildings no new stadiums nothing like that we're going to refurb and build and, and improve all the infrastructure that we already had so very low risk on the capital side um, then we had to look at um, where uh, one of the other things that we presented to them was a very compact game. So even though we're a big city, everything is going to be taking place in a very small footprint so that the athletes don't have to go far, the spectators don't have to go far, everybody can have a real quality experience. So everything is based around here at Lansdowne, Carleton University is the village, everything is super compact so that the, the farthest anyone has to go is Walter Baker, Camp Fortune. Those are the two farthest and that's only, you know, 20 minute drive. So really, it's all very compact. Well, I imagine by 2021, uh, we will have the LRT already in place. So I'm sure that was kind of a, a, a shoe in as well. And this is a very accessible city and our facilities are gorgeous. You talked about refurbishing them as well. So there is nothing new to be built. What about the social media aspect? How can, um, we'll say the community get involved? And you were talking about there was a Twitter bid and a Facebook bid. Uh, where did that all go about? Yeah, so we ensured that, again, from, they're looking at our technical capacity and our uh, ability to promote their brand of the Canada Games. And so we had a, a Facebook campaign uh, when we got almost 5,000 signatures of support on that. And then we had a Twitter campaign reaching over a million people. We were trending fifth in Canada on the day that the bid review committee came to Ottawa, so we're pretty excited about that. Um, and we really did our best to make sure that they recognized we had all of this, we can handle all of this. We also have a commitment from Bell Media already. Uh, so we have almost 10,000, 10, um, no, 10 million dollars uh, in the bank uh, from sponsors. So we're, we're a third of our way to our final, uh, the number we're trying to hit. And why is it so important Ottawa gets the 2021 games and when do we find out if we stole them away? Well, it is really important because although we're the capital city, um, I don't feel, and I'm not whining, I'm just saying that, you know, people assume we get everything, but as a city, we don't. And uh, we have many athletes in Ottawa who end up leaving the city to go train somewhere else because we don't have the facilities. One of the aspects of our bid that we think is really great is a legacy, part of our legacy would be to have an Ontario Sport Institute uh, center which would provide top athletes with um, the ability to access facilities and services on a priority basis. 
Uh, so it would allow them to, tr and it would be probably be housed at one of the educational institutions. So it would be really great for um, for our athletes. The universities are all going to benefit. The city is going to benefit. We're going to do upgrades all over. So recreational people just going to Terry Fox are going to have a more fun. It's going to be better for them. So. Uh, we find out on the 30th, it will be live streamed, uh, and uh, we, we just hope that we are the ones selected. There's really, we felt we did everything we could. We don't think there's anything else we could have done or said, and so now it's just whether they decide that we're what they're looking for. I have good faith that they will come to 2021, and I know there's another name that you and I discussed off camera, and I know he is very excited to have uh, to have the 2021 games here. He's the big reason baseball came back uh, to Ottawa as well. We do have to take a short break, but thank you so much, Sue, for joining us, and we wish you all the best of luck. You are uh, quite a staple in this community, and we will all keep our, our fingers crossed for the 2021 games. Let's take a short break. When we come back, we'll get you all set up with Ed and Carlos for the second period. You're watching First Choice Haircutters, Ottawa 67's Hockey on Rogers TV.